how can you use data science, the, the three principles we've seen to tackle confirmation bias? The example we saw earlier, we looked at how a found, founder who probably has decided they're going to place some Facebook ads, uh, use that as part of their marketing strategy. So how do you fight that kind of a confirmation bias? Step number one, look for data that you don't, uh, you either you don't value and hence you ignore, or a uh, more dangerous one is you have avoided because it is uncomfortable. Uh, getting a 360 degree view. So if you want to move away from confirming what you already know, you'll have to look in new places, look for new data and make sure you have uh, spread the night, uh, the, the net wide open. And number two, once you have good representative data, look for unusual insights. A lot of people make the, a lot of organizations make the mistake of going with standard patterns of analysis. Uh, I always say, if you look for the, uh, if you approach analytics, the common usual way, you will only find usual insights. If you want to find something interesting, you will have to perform an unusual pattern of analysis. And one example and one uh, tip there is, start by disproving your hypothesis. This ties back to the example, the exercise we had in the start. Uh, if you're trying to guess that the sequence of numbers, try to propose the, the very first guess, uh, a guess, a, a better guess would be try to disprove what you think might be at play. So scout for unusual insights. And again, here, uh, a lot of people go into AI, but again, simple descriptive analytics can solve a majority of problems for startups and for most organizations. AI has its place, but when you're trying to make day-to-day uh, -day decisions or even strategic decisions, simple descriptive quality analytics can, can actually make a big difference. And uh, number three, when you share a table of numbers to 10 people, they will come with 10 different con uh, conclusions. Whereas when you convert these into data stories, which has a narrative, uh, has a recommendation, it's highly likely that those 10 people will be aligned. The mental models will align and you will be able to make a decision within the room.